listening? So they didn't come to Aaron because they didn't see what's in them. That's right. They saw the vulnerability that was in them, and he was a people pleaser. That's right. Moses was strict. Moses firm. Moses, Jehovah this, Jehovah that. I am that I am. God this. God. Oh, man, he was all about God. That's right. Aaron, more laid back. More people pleaser. Full of wickedness. Yeah. And he was not loyal. That's right. He betrayed his overseer. He betrayed his blood brother. And more importantly, he betrayed God. Amen. Listen. The people gathered themselves together unto Aaron and said unto him, Up, make us gods which shall go before us. Wait a minute. Make us what? Make us gods. Tell that. G-O-D-S. That's what happened to many of you out there who've been taught there's one God. You went and got some scrub. <laughs> That's right. You went and got a smurf. That's right. And made Papa Smurf some old homemade preacher. That's right. And now these Smurfs has made gods, gods. plural we for you. That's right. Who've been taught there was one. That's right. How many is denouncing the one true living God for people? That's true. I wouldn't denounce, hallelujah, there was one God if he was going to put me in an electric chair. No. You can take the voltage and connect it to the voltage of the third rail <laughs> of a railway. <laughs> Let me fry believing in one God. That's right. And if it's God will that I feel the pain and I'm hollering, let me be hollering. What? <laughs> Just shaking. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me shake it out. <laughs> Pull the lever. What? Just shake it out. Hallelujah. Being a child of God is way beyond coming to wish up. He demands loyalty, commitment. He's against it. He abhors betrayal. betrayal. Listen. The people gathered themselves together unto Aaron. And what? And said unto him, Up, make us gods which shall go before make us. Make us gods. To go before us. For as for this Moses, for this Moses, the man that brought us out of, up out of, the land of Egypt, us out the land of Egypt, we want not what has become of him. My viewers, did you have a preacher, by God's permission, preach enough to make you consider to turn your ways and preach you out of sin? And now the one that did that is dead. And now look at your church. It looks like a club, a disco joint. <laughs> half naked women half naked men you don't know who is the man or who is the woman you That's up right. on choir rehearsal the women come to choir rehearsal with pants and shorts and halters That's men right. come to choir rehearsal pants hanging down showing his drawers amen in choir rehearsal with a hat on, a man up there practicing in a choir with all these long dreadlocks and got your hair looking like buckwheat. That's right. That's right. Because Israel, out of control, wicked, God saw commandments to be a necessity. That's right. These commandments wasn't written to decorate stone. They were written that the people's conduct may be put in order. Yeah. Hear this. For as for this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, what is it? we want not we what has become of what him. What happened to him? 
And Aaron said unto them, Aaron said to them, Break off the golden earrings. Oh, you select me? Oh, I know how to get you in hell. <laughs> I know how to make you sin. That's right. I know how to make you rebel. Yeah. Get you, you want a God? Okay. Break off the golden get, earrings. Take your earrings off. Which are in the ears of your wives, of your sons, and of your daughters. Yeah. And bring them unto me. Bring me your jewelry. And all the people break off the golden earrings which were in their ears. And what? And brought them unto Aaron. Brought them to Aaron. And he received them at their hands. And? And fashioned it with a graving tool. Did you hear that? Hallelujah. Now let us bear in mind, Aaron was Moses' brother. Brother. And all of this was in Aaron. Yeah. The whole time he was with Moses. All it took was the right time. The right thing had to happen. That's right. So what was lying in Aaron to come to surface. That's right. What of God said out the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. What's done, hear me good. In the dark, it had come to the light. Come to the light. Hear this. And all the people break off the golden earrings which were in their ears. And what? And brought them unto Aaron. And? And he received them at their hand and fashioned it with a graving tool. Yes. After he had made it a molten calf. After he made the molten calf. And they molten said, is when a metal is melted. Right. Or a natural sweet sauce like iron ore or gold is melted. melted. A molten calf. You get a mold like a calf. You pour that solution in there. Then that thing come out hardened, dry out hardened. Then you get the calf that you want or the idol that you want. That's right. Idolatry is a sin. Oh, yes. We don't have a God that's set on our mantelpiece. No. And our God ain't on no picture. No. And our God is not on no cross either. That's right. The Son of Man was on the cross, right. but he'd been off that cross. cross. Died, hallelujah, rose the third day, stayed around for a little bit longer. Amen. Giving the apostles some more information and different ones saw him. Thank God until Paul concluded, last of all, he was seen of me as one born out in due time. Right. At the appointed time, he ascended above all heavens. Yeah. Bible said, I disappeared within the clouds. That's right. All right. And he received them at their hand and fashioned it with a graving tool. Yes. After he had made it a molten calf. Yes. And they said, These be thy gods, O These Israel. Be thine what? These be thy gods. These be your gods. O Israel. O Israel. Which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. Hold it. Mm. Now, you got a fake God. So if you got a fake God, you got to boost it with a lie. That's right. They made a fake God and they gave the fake God credit because they was already out of Egypt. That's right. Think of it. They made the calf after they came out of Egypt. And then Aaron said, These be thy gods, These O Israel. These be thy gods of Israel. Which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. Now, this is what I want you to consider. How could they be so blind and not even think? We're out of Egypt. The calf was made after we got out. So where was the calf at to bring us out? That's right. They just took what Aaron said and ran with it. That's it. Well, what happened to them? All that say they're Israel is not Israel. Some say, I'm in the truth. Wonderful. But is the truth in you? Because if it's not in you and you're not steadfast, steadfast. in what's supposed to be in you, the same thing he's reading will happen to you. That's right. That's right. 
It starts off by someone giving you wrong biblical information. By you not paying attention to the right information, your response to the wrong information is, amen. That's right. Amen. And then you get in some spirit. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Go ahead, man. Are you listening? Amen. When the word of God get in you, it's a seed. For Jesus taught us the seed is the word. The word. And any seed that's planted in dirt, it takes time for it to be rooted. It can have roots, but not rooted. That's two different things. If you put a seed, and the seed is not quick enough to accept it die, when that tender green stalk come up, it comes up as a result of something going down. There's roots under that tender stalk, but the plant is not rooted. rooted. You can go right out there and grab the stalk and put it up. Yeah. But that good old tree right. is rooted. It's rooted. It's rooted so much it'll mess up the pipes in the ground of your house. That's right. You just can't grab that and pull that up. No. So because you have roots, that ain't good enough. Takes time to become rooted. rooted. When you're rooted, you can be exposed to any type of teaching. And you come out holy in, holy out, because you become immune. Your spiritual immune system is so good, you won't come down with fossilitis. That's right. You won't come down with it. That's right. Fossilitis. Fossilitis is a bad bacteria. Get in your mind and get in your heart. Get in your... It makes you happy over a lie. Hmm. All of us had some time in our life fossilitis. Oh, yes. I had it for a while, Pastor. <laughs> Let's get some Bible in the book of Isaiah Williams. Amen. Let's see what the people hide under. That's right. I believe That's the right. 28th chapter, if I'm correct, or 14th chapter. Under falsehood. Yes. Has we hid ourselves. In we the book made, of Isaiah. All right. Isaiah chapter 28, and we'll start at verse 15. Yes. Because ye have said, because we, ye have said we have made a covenant have made with a death. Covenant with death. And with hell. And with hell. Are we at agreement? Are we at agreement? When the overflowing scourge shall pass through. It what? It shall not come unto us. How bad are they? For we have made lies our refuge. We have hid under lies. We cover ourselves with lies. And under falsehood. And under falsehood. Have we hid ourselves? We hid ourselves under falsehood. That's right. And you break out with falsolitis. <laughs> That's right. A germ that you catch over falsehood is a bad spirit. Yeah. Where you would agree with a lie. Oh, yeah. And fight the truth bitterly. Bitterly. And you know what makes you fight the truth in most cases? Lack of understanding. That's right. It is written, they speak evil of the thing that they understand not. That's right. That's right. That's why I got many of you out there fighting yeah. over and over because falsehood took you over. Took you over. And you are just saturated with lies. Oh, yeah. And the jackhammer of the scripture got to pound through that hard head. Oh, yeah. They get one God in you. Amen. And then when you fight one God after you used to believe it, now you go in it so long until the Lord step in. That's right. And give you what he call strong delusion. strong delusion. You know what that mean? He give you permission to believe a lie. That's right. And when God give you permission to believe a lie, 
He give it for a reason. He's, the, he, he's done with you. Let's get right. some Bible. In the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and we'll start at verse 9. Hear me. Even him who's coming after the working Even of Satan. Even him was, who's coming was after the work of the devil. With all power and with signs. With all power and, and signs. And, and lying and, wonders. Ah, you got the wonders of heaven and you got lying wonders. Lying wonders. It's still a wonder, but it's not a wonder that's sanctioned by God. That's right. It's the power of the devil working to make you believe it's the power of God. It's a lying wonder. Lying wonders. Eh? And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness. Listen. In them that perish. What? Because they receive not the love of the truth. Because they receive not the love of the truth. That they might be saved. So you can be saved. And for this cause. For this reason. God shall send them strong delusion. Wait a minute. Who's going to bring the delusion? God shall send them strong delusion. And what? Is the reason why God will allow them to be victims of this delusion. Because they receive not the love of the truth that they might Hold be it. saved. Because you're in something, that's not good enough to God. That's right. You got to love, love. what you're in. That's right. Give chapter and verse again. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, we're at verse 10 and 11. And this is why many people are so easily rooted up. That's right. They brag about being in it, but they don't really love That's right. what they're in. That's it. God wants you to love what you're in. Because they receive not the love of the truth. Your heart is not in it. That's right. That's it's right. just your body is in it. That's right. That's right. That's your body. That's right. God wants your heart, mind, soul, and body, and spirit to be in him. That's it. Listen. Because they receive not the love of because the truth. Because they receive not the love. Of the truth. Of the truth. That they might be saved. When you love it, he wants you to love it for what reason? That they might be saved. Because even he knows if you love it, you're going to be committed to it. That's right. All right. And for this cause. Because they don't love it, what did God implement? God shall send them strong delusion that they notice not just a delusion strong delusion God going to send a strong delusion to you that they should believe a lie wait a minute I'm going to send you a strong delusion so you can do what that they should believe a lie that means God got it set up where when you reject his word after being warned he gives you up that's right because you want to believe lies anyway. That's right. So he give you a delusion so you can believe those lies. That's right. Because he won't let you tarry in his sight. Lord. Lord. We're dealing with a wise God. Amen. God said, you treat me like this, I know what to do to get you back. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Hear this. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned. Who he going to give them a delusion so they can believe a lie? That they all might be damned. So they can go to hell. Who believe not the truth. Who don't believe the truth. But had pleasure. But they have fun. In unrighteousness. And being wrong. That's right. That's right. You that believe in divorce, you have fun. Pleasure. In being wrong. That's right. Pleasure. You that don't believe in one God, you're having fun. That's right. Believing that lie. That's right. That's right. You that don't believe that it's wrong to fellowship with the unbeliever, you're having fun. Believing that lie. That's right. Had pleasure. Hmm? That's truth. The Holy Ghost speaks plain. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe now, hold, a lie. Hold, now, let me give you an example of the delusion. Delusion. It is written, God have no pleasure in fools. Yeah. And when you get up and preach that lie, here's an example of your delusion. Yeah. There's more than one God. Jesus is one God and God Almighty is another God. Here's your delusion. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Strong your delusion. delusion is you in the spirit. 
Your delusion is the others out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there's an old mother. Hey, hey. That's right. And there's an old elder. Everybody out there jumping and hollering over a lie. That's right. The delusion go from here out there. Is that Bible? Like people, like priests. That's right. If the blind leads the blind, both fall into the ditch. It ain't talking about no hole you dug in your backyard. No, no. It's talking about going to everlasting hell. That's right. All of you that believe there was one God and now you denounce it, you got a delusion. Delusion. And God will let you believe that lie. That's right. You that was taught it was one God and now you denounce it and got three, God gonna let you go on with that delusion. You that believed and was taught there was one God and now you made Jesus the mighty only and made God the almighty. Almighty. That's right. That delusion that God will give you is what? Strong delusion. How strong? Strong delusion. So strong. Have you ever heard the saying that you can tell a lie so much even you believe it? <laughs> That's right. That's right. You know, like Trump. Yeah. <laughs> and Trump believes his own lies. Oh, yeah. And there are those that have been preaching these lies, been hearing these lies for so long. Oh, yeah. Until they call lies truth and truth lies. That's right. They call darkness light and light darkness. That's right. Besides going forward, the Bible said that they may go and fall backward, backward. and be broken and snared and taken. And taken. Listen. And for this cause, God shall send them strong God delusion, them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie. That they should believe a lie. That they all might be damned. So they all can go to hell. Who believe not the truth. Who don't believe the truth, but how do they react? But had pleasure in unrighteousness. Pleasure. They have fun. Pleasure. Fun. They get happy over it. That's Speaking right. some fake tongue. <laughs> get right. all happy over jumping, jumping all off the organ. Oh yeah, oh yeah, flesh and blood is in heaven. Oh yeah, there's two gods. Oh yeah, there's three gods. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, shut up. That's right. That's right. That's right. Oh yeah, there's no more apostles now. Hing and 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 hing. No more apostles now. Hing and hing and hing. All right, hing and hing. That's right. The holy book says what? And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a oh, lie. This is beautifully outlined. Oh, yes. When you go back. Oh, yes. On what the word of God says. Amen. You're just like Aaron. Yeah. You have committed treason and you are backslider and you are traitor. That's right. Go back to Exodus real quick. Back in Exodus. Everybody all right? Yeah. Follow me and hear me good. Back in Exodus chapter 32 and verse 3. Yes. And all the people break off the golden earrings which were in their ears and brought them unto Aaron. Uh -huh. And he received them at their hand and fashioned it with a graving tool. Yes. After he had made it a molten calf. When you want to go wrong, there's someone amongst that congregation that'll lead you right to hell. That's right. Yeah, start off by sending their little DVDs or old cassette tapes to the friends in the congregation. Amen. That's what they do. They start doing that. Yeah. Or they ask different ones to go, you know, there's some, listen, in all of my years of ministering by God's permission, we have never sent brothers or sisters to any church to try to get members out that church. That's right. We just preach the word of God and do what the Bible says, come out from among them. That's it. We had, I, we had a situation where a brother, I believe, went to the Atlanta temple, or one of the temples, and admitted that he was under a preacher out of Charlotte. 
North Carolina. That's Charlotte, North Carolina, Charlotte, South Carolina. South, 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 South. Which is it? North or South? North <laughs> Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah. And he was under a bishop there. And the bishop asked him to come to First Church. Mm. Blend in to encourage members to leave to go under him. Am I right, Jones? My Lord. How can you be your bishop's hoe? Sisters, go to any congregation to try to get members. If Jesus don't bring you, too bad. <laughs> and for you to say you are an apostle. An apostle. And then got to act like a pimp. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And that's what they do. They have actually sent people to first church. That's how bad they need members. My Lord. Hey, you got to listen to Bishop Cunningham, man. <laughs> check him out. You know, check him out, man. He said, Pastor Jennings, the name of the church is wrong. He said, first church is not in the Bible, man. The name of the church is wrong. That's right. The phrase in the Bible, church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the apostolic faith ain't in the Bible. No. The church is just simply named after the builder. That's it. It has title and name. I can say the last church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Why? God is the first and the last. I can say the only church of the Lord Jesus Christ. They saw no man save Jesus only. And he has the only church. That's right in that Bible. You're so foolish. Amen. I, 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 when a brother told me that, I said, say what? The brother was around for a while. Lord. Just to try to convince people to leave. Any of you preachers that are so desperate, so stricken with spiritual poverty. Amen. <laughs> that you got to send men or women. And you. Amen. Jesus said, if I be lifted up from the earth, he said, I will draw all men unto me. We will never resort to such low, cheap, weak methods. Amen. That's desperation. Oh, yes. And that's sad. That's right. And it's embarrassing. Yes. In good broken cartoon English, it's embarrassing. <laughs> it's very embarrassing. Come on, William. Go back to Exodus. Everybody all right? 
Read quick so I can knock off. Back in Exodus 32 and verse 4. What is it? And he received them at their hand and fashioned it with a graving tool. Yes. After he had made it a molten calf. Mm -hmm. And they said, These be thy gods, O Israel, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. Yes. And when Aaron saw it, he built an altar before it. Wait a minute. He built the altar, a sacred place. Just getting deeper and deeper into idolatry. Now you're going to make this idol sacred. That's right. All right. And Aaron made proclamation. He, wait a minute. Now you're going to make a proclamation? Proclamation. Uh -huh. And said, tomorrow is a feast to the Lord. Tomorrow? In so many words, we're going to have church the next day. That's right. We're going to make a feast to who? To the Lord. They had a new Lord. We're going to make a feast to the Lord. And they rose up early on the morrow and offered burnt offerings and brought peace offerings. And what? And the people sat down to eat and to drink and rose up to play. Amen. They are eating now. Right. You're drinking now. Right. And you have rose up around the world. To play. Playing church. That's right. Read quick. And the Lord said unto Moses, go get thee down. Wait a minute. Moses was still up on the mountain. That's right. Moses! Go get thee down. It's time for you to go back down. That's, that things done went totally wrong. For thy people which, thine people, which thou brought us out of the which land of Egypt, brought out the land of Egypt, have corrupted themselves. That's what the churches have done around the world. Right. Your beliefs now corrupt your church. Old Testament in the book of Zephaniah yeah. says this. The priests have polluted the sanctuary. The sanctuary. They have done violence to the law. To the law. The priests have polluted the sanctuary. Let's read this. In the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3. Zephaniah. And Zephaniah. Not Zechariah. Zephaniah. That's one of them books that most of you ain't probably haven't read. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And it's within the 66. Within the 66. All right. Zephaniah, chapter 3, and we're at verse 4. That's what? Right. Her prophets are light. Her prophets are light. And Hold it. Amen. This light don't mean they got direction. No. This light means they unstable. Yeah. Notice the language of the Bible. The prophets are light. And what else are they? And treacherous persons. Treacherous. They don't have the light of God. There's a false light in them. That's right. The light of Satan. That's right. What else? Her priests. Her priests. Have polluted have the sanctuary. Have polluted the place of worship. They have done violence. They have violated. To the law. To God's law. The just Lord is in the midst of thereof. And what? He will not do iniquity. Do you hear this? That's right. All right, back to Exodus real quick, son. Back in Exodus chapter 32 and verse 7. All right. And the Lord said unto Moses, go get thee down. Go get down. For thy people which thou broughtest out of the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. And? They have turned aside quickly out of the way. Moses Amen. wasn't dead. Moses wasn't gone a year. That's right. How did they do it? They have turned aside quickly. Now. Out of the way. If you are rooted and grounded in this, how can you turn aside the false teaching so fast? So fast. How can Amen. you turn your back? It's only because you're not rooted or grounded right. as you thought you were. That's right. And many times, because we're in a hurry, it is written, he that believeth shall not make haste. Take your time. Take your time. Follow on to know the Lord. That's it. That's it. I'm trying to keep up with nobody. Don't measure your strength by how long and how often you speak in tongues. That's right. Don't measure your strength how long you shake in church. Yeah. That's right. You can be shaking one day. Oh, glory, 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 glory. <laughs> and then a false teaching come and you start shaking right out the church. Oh, glory, oh, glory, oh, glory. Where you going? Walking backwards. Oh, backwards. glory. <laughs> Bible says that they may go and fall backwards, fall backwards. and be broken. 
Another scripture says, their way shall be as slippery way. They shall be driven on and fall therein. That's it. Listen. They have turned aside quickly. They have turned aside quick. Out of the way which I commanded them. Out of the way God commanded. They have made them a molten calf. They went and made a calf. And have worshipped it. And now they're worshipping it. And have sacrificed their unto Now they're doing an offering to it. And said, these be thy gods, O Israel. Now they're crediting these gods. Which have brought thee up out of the land they're of They're not Egypt. crediting heaven no more. That's right. Be quick. And the Lord said unto Moses, I have seen this people. I've seen it. And behold, it is a stiff-necked people. I've seen it. That's right. They're hard head. That's right. Be quick. Now, therefore, let me alone. Leave me alone. That my wrath may wax hot against you them. You know what I got in mind. I'm going to lay it to them. And that I may consume them. And what? And I will make of thee a great nation. And Moses besought the Lord his God and said, Lord, why doeth thy wrath wax hot against thy people? Read fast. Which thou hast brought forth out of the land of Egypt with great power I want to and with show a mighty you hand. How this affect this God sent man. That's right. After he got the commandments. Read quick, Williams. And Moses besought the Lord his God and said, Lord, why doeth thy wrath wax hot against thy people? Yeah. Which thou hast brought forth out of the land of Egypt with great power uh -huh. and with a mighty hand. Yes. Wherefore should the Egyptians speak and say, for mischief did he bring them out, to slay them in the mountains and to consume them from the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. Turn from thy fierce Read wrath. Read quick. And repent of this evil against thy people. Yes. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel thy servants to whom thou swearest by thine own self, and saidest unto them, I will multiply your seed as the stars of heaven. And all this land that I have spoken of will I give unto your seed. And Let's get where Moses came down with the commandments. In the book of Exodus chapter 32, now we're at verse 15. What happened? And Moses turned and went down from the mount. Yes. And the two tables of the testimony were in his hand. And? The tables were written on both their sides, on the one side and on the other were they written. Yes. And the tables were the work of God. Ah. The, Amen. Can't get any better than that. No better than that. I love the work of God. That's right. The tables were God work. And the writing was the writing of God graven upon the table. Yeah. And when Joshua heard the noise of the people as they shouted. What did he say? He said unto Moses, there is noise of war in the camp. Confusion. That's right. Now the people are all confused, Moses. They're all confused now. And he said, it is not the voice of them that shout for mastery. Yes. Neither is it the voice of them that cry for being overcome. Yes. But the noise of them that sing do I hear. Yes. And it came to pass as soon as he came nigh unto the camp that he saw the calf and the dancing. Wait a minute. Amen. Church changed. That's right. Listen closely to the language of the Bible, you that are here and you that are listening. And it came. As soon and it came to pass as and it soon came to pass as he came nigh unto the camp. As Moses got close that to he, the camp. That he saw the calf. He saw the other idols. And the dancing. Amen. What you would call today partying. That's right. Disco lights in church. That's right. A disco crystal ball in church. Psychedelic lights in church. They got disco balls in here. <laughs> That lets you know it's for the events of the world so they can come here and dance under lights. That's right. Imagine that. Imagine so called that. gospel singers making a gospel album and get a center rapper. That's right. That's what they do. That's what they do. So called gospel singer. Jesus is mine. Then they take a break. Then the rapper, come on, come on, come on. And let me tell you about Jesus up on the cross. We one day, what we thought was lost. He got nails in his hands and nails in his feet. And I came on down there and then we got to eat. Jesus <laughs> is mine. <laughs> Am I right, I said? Yeah. And the moment they do it, they call that rapper a Christian. That's right. The moment they do it. The moment they do it. That's right. They integrate. That's right. God, they are determined to make God and Satan one. One. That's right. You viewers know I'm telling the truth. These so called gospel singers, they one time they got Snoop Dogg on the album. He's rapping with them. That's right. 
D.D. Jakes was hanging out at a rapper and twerking party. What? That Puff Daddy helped. He's sitting right there, OTD Snakes. <laughs> Amen. They there twerking and everything. T.D. Snakes right there. My Lord, my Lord. You see, they want the world to look at them as men of God, but they are really scared to be real men of God as a result a repercussion. That's right. They want to be loved by the sinner. They don't even care if they are not loved by God. No. They want to be accepted by the sinner. That's right. And they don't care if God don't accept them. That's right. And that is the reason why churches are going to hell is because you want to be so much like the sinner, you are the sinner. You are. Amen. And the That's sinner right. don't respect you. Yeah. Hear this quickly now. Exodus 32 now in verse 19. Be quick. And it came to pass as soon as he came nigh unto the soon camp. As he came nigh to the camp. That he saw the calf and the dancing. Saw the calf. And the dancing. And the dancing. And Moses' anger waxed hot. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen.